Hello subscribers. In today's video, I will show you how to create a beautiful traditional Serity model for a miniature using Blender. We will go through the process step by step in a simple and easy way. This channel is all about helping you build a side income with a 3D printer. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe. Let's import a default dress from the MakeHuman software. Switch to the Geometries tab, select Female, and choose Female Casual Suit. Go to the Modeling tab. We need to give the model a female look by adjusting the proportions, reducing the height, and increasing the weight to make her appear more feminine. Move to the Pose or Animate tab and select Game Engine Bones. Open the Pose tab. Click on Standing in the filter and select a standing position. Now let's export the 3D model. In the File menu, Qs Export, select a file location by clicking the three dots, name the file address, and save it. We also need a body 3D model. Go back to the Geometries tab and uncheck the selected dress. Export the body model separately as body. These are the files exported from MakeHuman software. Open Blender and create a general project. Delete all the default 3D models. Let's import the Dress 3D model. Delete the body and eyeballs. Select the dress and switch to Edit Mode. Press P to separate and choose by loose parts. Now the shirt and trousers are separated. Rename the upper 3D model as Tops. Delete the trousers since they are not needed. Let's import the body 3D model. Select the body 3D model and switch to edit mode. Hide the dress model. Select face mode from the top left corner. Since the legs aren't needed for the seri cloth, we need to delete them. Use Ctrl plus left click to continuously select the faces to be deleted. Press Delete and choose Vertices. Press P and select by loose parts. This will separate the legs and upper body. Rename the 3D object as Body and delete the legs. Also, Delete the A balls as they are not needed for 3D printing. Choose the annotate tool from the left panel. Draw a line to mark the dress neckline from the front. Similarly, draw a line for the back. Select the dress and switch to edit mode. Let's delete the neck part of the dress. Hold Ctrl plus left click to continuously select the faces on the neck. Press Delete and choose Faces. Now let's separate them by pressing P and selecting the loose parts. Switch to Object Mode and delete any unnecessary parts, then go back to Edit Mode. Choose Vertex Mode from the top left corner. Select the dress vertices near the neck, then press G and Z to move them along the Z axis. Select each vertex one by one and drag it down to match the blue markings we made. Open another viewport on the right for easier reference. Use one viewport for the side view and the other for the front view. Similarly, move off few vertices to match the annotate markings it's easy. If you need any help, let me know in the comments. 
Now comes the exciting part of the design. Let's shape the hip by cutting the dress near the hip area. Switch from vertex mode to face mode. Select the faces near the hip. Use Ctrl plus mouse click to continuously select faces. After selecting, press Delete and choose faces. Also press P and select by loose parts. Delete the unnecessary dress models. Now, the hip region is visible. Let's start editing the bottom of the dress. Select all and create faces by pressing F. Select the bottom faces and extend them by pressing G. Move them down along the Z axis. Press S to scale, then extend further by pressing E to create a curved shape. Drag it down, increase the scale, and lower it even more. Use loop cuts to increase the number of edges, making editing easier. Switch to Sculpt mode and smooth the dress using the smooth brush. We have reached the final step of completing the seri. Let's design the seri using a plane. Rotate it 90 degrees along the x-axis. Resize the plane to the desired scale, referring to both viewports for easy reference. Move and position it carefully near the hip, then scale it into a rectangle so it can be extended like a seri in edit mode. Switch to Edit Mode, rotate the plane, and position it like a seri. Move and place the seri near the body, ensuring it closely touches the surface. Change to Vertex Select Mode and use Loop Cut to divide the plane into two for easier shaping. Select vertices one by one to drag them, and wrap the body with the plane as a seri naturally covers the body. If the plane gets hidden inside the body, use loop cuts to add more edges, then drag it outward for proper wrapping. Refer to both viewports for side and front views to adjust the vertices accordingly. Make additional loop cuts in the middle of the plane to help pull parts from inside to outside of the body. Switch to Sculpt mode if needed to refine the series shape. To complete the back hanging part of the series, drag and position it toward the back. Now, extend the series to the other side by pressing Y wrapping it over the inner dress. Adjust the vertices and drag them down to reach the bottom. Keep extending the vertices until the entire body is covered like a fabric wrap. You can see how easily we achieve the result, gradually extending and wrapping the seri completely. Use loop cuts to increase the number of vertices, making further edits easier. Utilize edit mode for wrapping and sculpt mode for shaping the dress. Refine the seri at the top and hip areas for a more natural look. Increase the resolution by adding a multi-resolution modifier, then click Subdivide. Apply the modifier. Since we can't print the seriuses, we need to add thickness using the Solidify modifier and increase the thickness value. Switch to Sculpt mode and add finishing touches by sculpting the seri folds at the front for a realistic draped effect. Apply the Solidify modifier to the seri, then add a multi-resolution modifier and click Subdivide. 
add folds and wrinkles throughout the seri to give it a natural, flowing appearance just like a real seri draped on a beautiful woman. Finally, add a design of your choice to the front view of the seri. I was inspired by a girl's seri and recreated it for her. Let's print 3D model. To do that, export the 3D model from Blender. Open the Ultimaker Cura software and drag and drop the 3D model file into the Cura workspace. Slice the 3D model in Ultimaker Cura and now it's ready for 3D printing. Actually, I faced a few problems while slicing the model. First, the color isn't ready for 3D printing due to an incomplete mesh. Second, the hip isn't suitable for 3D printing due to an uneven shape, but I have fixed it. To see how we fixed these issues, watch the videos displayed on the end screen. I have faced challenges not only in 3D modeling but also in 3D printing, especially when I had no one to guide me. But don't worry, I can be your guide through your 3D printing journey. Join the community and watch the next videos.